Hi there. So growing up, my mom always used to yell at me uh, for keeping the fridge open, right? And she would always tell me, you know, you're wasting way too much money just by keeping the fridge open. When I grew up, I, always, I, I was always curious to know how much am I really wasting? And that's what we are going to do, right? We are, we, are, we are going to test this and see how much are we really wasting by keeping the fridge open for this test, right? So we are going to test energy consumption on an open fridge, okay? Uh, we'll be using PA3000 power analyzer with PowerView software to measure consumption for about 10 minutes and see how much it will cost us more than just keeping the fridge closed. Okay? For reference, I measured the energy consumption on the same fridge with door closed for about 10 minutes and it cost me 0.14 cents, pretty low. Uh, where you know one unit is about kilowatt hour is about 15 cents, that's, that's what it is in California in 2016. Okay? Now, uh, let's quickly look at the setup. Uh, we are using the breakout box to make the connections on the input side easy and safe. The breakout box will enable us to measure current flowing through the device by breaking the circuit and adding PA3000's internal shunt in series with it. We are also measuring the voltage across the input terminals. Yep. Let's go to the PowerView software now to measure energy consumption. Here, on the setup page, I'll select the energy consumption application on this left panel from all the other choices, right, and click on wizard. The wizard will help us set up the equipment properly for energy consumption testing. I'm expecting about two to three amps maybe, you know, so I'll, I'll enter that number here. This is obviously a single phase input, so we will leave the other setting as default, right. Let's hit next. Uh, I don't need this for now, so I'll, I'll just hit next and keep it as default. So, this this page this this shows us the wiring diagram and shunt selection for our test. I'll hit finish, and software should be all set up as you can see here from the mode. We'll go to the measure page and hit the start button. Now, to start the integration, let's hit the integration start button right here, the one in the green, right. Uh, as you can see, the integrator reading all start updating at the same time. While the measurements are running, let's calculate how much this is going to cost us in dollars or cents, right? Uh, average cost of an electric unit, the kilowatt hour in California is about 15 cents as I just mentioned, right? Let's go to the formula column and multiply the unit cost with measured energy consumption, right? And since the unit is in kilowatt hours, I'm going to divide it by 1000. Um, there you go. This will give us the exact cost of operating this open fridge for over 10 minutes. Let's right click on the watt hour reading and trend the measurement so we can monitor this over time and look at the integration chart. Okay? We can do the same thing for dollar amount so we'll see exactly how much we are spending as we go. Okay? Um, I'll, I'll let this run and I'll skip to the end so that we can look at the end results. As you can see, 10 minutes of keeping the fridge open cost us about 0.16 cents. In comparison, the closed fridge cost us about 0.14 cents. So I just wasted 0.02 cents by keeping the fridge open for 10 minutes. So assuming I kept this fridge open 10 minutes for 365 days, right, and the 15 years I stayed with them, the difference is 109 cents. It's just $1. Now, your results can vary based on what model you're using or how much time you spend in front of that fridge, but backed with this hard evidence, I think you can call your mom and ask her, was, that, was all that nagging worth it, right? Well, thanks for watching the video. This is Seishang Malap signing off.